So here we are in the entrance lobby at Silverstone UTC. Um, the UTC is built right alongside the track at Silverstone, 40 metres away. Um, it's an iconic looking building in a really inspirational setting. And, um, and our students have been coming here for the last eight weeks or so um, in this building that's um, been built by InterServe. And, uh, and it's a really great place to come and, come and work and study. So the building's been funded directly by the EFA and, uh, and the partnership, the, uh, the, the Silverstone Academy Trust partnership, which is a combination of Silverstone Circuits themselves, the University of Northampton and Tresham College um, have all worked together to get this, this place you know, off, out of the ground, let's say. Currently we're on the uh, events terrace of the UTC, which is part of the events management curriculum so that what they can offer the students, which is slightly more than what you'd get at any other facility, is the proximity of Silverstone's racetrack, which is literally 40 metres away from where we are. The building itself and the external works, we're looking at uh, approximately 6,000 square metres. Um, the project commenced on December the 10th of last year, and what we basically had to do was get the facility open for phase one uh, within eight months. So the challenge obviously to us originally was one of programme and timescale. We entered into this scheme with uh, a commitment of employing 50% of um, our supply chain from the local area which generally meant uh, within the 50 mile radius. We managed to achieve that and I think it's important that we did, um, not just for our own credibility as a company, but also so that the local community felt part of the build itself. We've had a good relationship from the start and we've also managed to get the UTC open on time and we're about now complete for the phase two, which is the total handover of the project. Um, so we feel that although the project itself was challenging, We've risen to that challenge and delivered not just an exceptional building for the students, but, I, but an iconic one in relation to Silverstone itself and where it sits. Well, all UTCs have a specialism, and uh, here at Silverstone we've got two, um, one being business and technical events management, and the other being high-performance engineering. And our students have a daily reminder with cars running around this track about the high-performance engineering and the events. Um, the events industries that they've chosen to specialise in. It's, it's been an interesting experience and, um, and one where it's only worked because of a close relationship with the team from InterServe on site, working on a day-to-day -day basis, talking to each other and, and working with each other and around each other so that we don't get in each other's way really. Due to the uh, speed at which we've had to design and construct this building, it was important that we incorporated 3D modelling into the main building services. It meant that we could project and proceed with the construction itself whilst we were still carrying out the design of the ME services themselves. So what it's meant is, is that we've given the stakeholders the, the building which they were so keen to, to get, but also meant that the engineering side of the, the curriculum is first class and meets all of the standards and expectations which the end user was so keen to achieve. So we can go down and have a look at the, one of the workshops now if you like. So here we are in one of the workshops. Um, you can see that um, by the sheer quantity of uh, mechanical and electrical infrastructure it was imperative that we adopted uh, 3D modelling in order to ensure that not only we got the facility that we've currently got, but also that we were able to future-proof the area to accommodate uh, differing types of engineering for uh, future learning for the uh, local community. It was important that when we were looking at letting the m and &E package, because of its size, breadth, and importance to the UTC itself, that we employed someone that we could rely on and that we would knew that we'd be able to offer the services that we were looking for. Um, in that respect, we looked in-house and employed uh, InterServe Engineering Services. 
and they've managed to deliver the facility on time and within budget, which is a credit to everybody. In our first year, we've got 164 students on site here now. Um, when we're full, that'll be 576, so it'll be an awful lot busier and quite a lot noisier as well. Um, but we really want all of our students to come out of this with a really focused education, um, a real business-focused business um, work ethic, um, and go on to be the next Adrian Newey's or, um, you know, uh, uh, Formula One designers or engineering or events managers of, of the future. So you've seen around the UTC itself now. Now we're outside at the main entrance. And as you can see, the building itself is absolutely fantastic. And as a structure, it's iconic. And if I was a student, once again, I would have loved to have come to a place like this.